Okay, this is question 14 on the higher non-calculator paper. I had to zoom out a bit on this so I could actually show most of the question. There's still a part towards the bottom, and let's just sort of focus on the first two parts to begin with, part A and B. Let's read the question first. The diagram shows the position of a lighthouse L and a harbor H. So that's the lighthouse, that's the harbor. And I could tell straight away this is going to have something to do with bearings. It's got the north lines and these two are connected. The scale of the diagram is one centimeter represents five kilometers. So one centimeter is five kilometers. Work out the real distance between L and H. So the real distance between L and H. I think that this is pretty straightforward. I just need to get my ruler and measure the distance between L and H. And as you can see from there, right, it's pretty much bang on seven centimeters. So L to H is seven centimeters. But the question said to, to us that one centimeter is five kilometers. So if I times that by five, that gives me 35. And that means the real distance is 35 kilometers. So the real distance between the two is 35 kilometers. What I'm going to do next is the, the bearings part of the question. And I'm going to move this up a bit. Right? I will have to go back up to the the diagram itself. The question says, measure the bearing of H from L. Measure the bearing of H from L. Now, in the question itself, because it says from L, right, so the bearing of H from L. Now, I'm interested in the angle at L and the bearing, always taken from the north, always in a clockwise direction, so clockwise direction, and that's the angle that I'm interested in measuring. Now, if I pull this down a bit so I could actually put the protractor on and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I need a protractor for this. Right, there's no other way of measuring it. I'm going to make sure that the cross of the protractor is bang on L and I've lined up the zero line on the north line there, the zero line on the protractor, so you could see that that's pretty much spot on. And looking at the angle, starting from zero at the top, and I'm using the outside scale, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and it's bang on 110. It's bang on 110. So that is my bearing. I need to, uh, you need to make sure you write bearings to three figures, but that's always already three figures, right? The angle there is 110. It's already three figures, so I don't need to put a zero in front of it to make it look like three figures. In the answer space, I am just going to write 110. Okay? And that is my answer. Okay. Now, going on to part B, I'm just going to re... Okay, part C. Part C says, a boat is 20 kilometers a boat is 20 kilometers from H on a bearing of 0, 4, 0, or 40 degrees. Right? On the diagram, mark the position of the boat B with a cross. Label it B. So on the diagram, they want me to mark the position of the boat B with a cross. So I'm going to go back up, but I'm going to just make a note of this. It says the boat is 20 kilometers. So if it's 20 kilometers, in real, I need to divide that by 5. Because remember, they told us the scale, 1 centimeter was 5 kilometers. So divide that by 5. That means on the diagram, it needs to be 4 centimeters. So what I need to do is to go up to it, and the boat is on a bearing of 0, 4, 0, or 40 degrees from H. Because it's from H, on the diagram, I'm going to put my protractor on H. And again, just like before, line it up. Line it up exactly and make sure that the zero line on the protractor is bang on north. And if it's 40 degrees, measuring the angle from the north, 40 degrees is over there. And I'll put a little marker 
just a little dot and make sure I could see it okay. Yeah, so that's at 40 degrees. And I'm going to draw a line from H through that. So that angle is 40 degrees. And this boat, boat B, could be anywhere along that line because that is on a bearing of 40 degrees from H. But if I want the exact point, that exact point is 20 kilometers from H, but on the scale, we worked it out, it was going to be four centimeters. So if I measure this accurately, and then measure four centimeters from there, so it's four centimeters. Yeah. I'm going to put a cross there and label that point B. Okay, that is or should be pretty straightforward. Make sure you read the question, and it'll be very useful if you had this question paper with you as you were doing this. Right? Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to get these marks, and there's four marks for this question altogether. Make sure you know how to do it, make sure you get it sorted.